What's up, Cancer? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? Come on in here, hop on the couch, kick your feet up, relax, and enjoy yourselves, boo. Grab your weed, blunt, cigarettes, drink, fruit, water. Hell, I don't give a fuck, just do you. But allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you show me because you don't have to, boo, and you're doing for that. It truly means the world to me. Thank you so much. All right, my lovely Cancers, we're back with another love reading. On how your person sexually feels about you. So back with another sexual love reading. So if you don't want to hear no grown folk talk. You don't want to hear no explicit shit. You may want to you know, walk out the door now. You know, this is a pre-warning. That way I don't have to hear you in my comments. All right. You know, because I, lo I love you. I love you. All right. So let's get into it. Um, yeah, I already pulled your cards. So the song is playing in the background. is total. Can't you see? So this person wants to know, can't you see what you do to me? I love was meant to be. You were made for me. So this person feels that you were made for them and them only, okay? So we got, I love the way your pussy feels. So this person loves the way your pussy feels, okay? It's all tight and shit. You know, you're not promiscuous. You don't just hop from dick to dick, you know, dip, dick hop. You ain't community pussy, so yeah, that's why this shit feels right, tight. All right, we got Pickaboo, so this person is watching you on your social media. It could, could be possibly watching you in real life, all right? Depending on how much they like you or how much they, how much psycho they got in them. All right, I love hitting it from the back, so this person loves hitting you from the back, okay? You probably got a pretty ass, pretty round, heart-shaped ass, peach ass, you know? Just a cute ass. And they like watching and looking at your ass. They like watching themselves going in and out of you. You know what I'm saying? When I'm thinking about you, I play I play with myself. Yeah, because you bomb. You probably got a bomb ass body. All right? You got this person out there playing with themselves every time they think about you. Because they just love the way your pussy feels. All right? Can I play with your kitty? So you, this person wants to play with your real kitty or want to come play with your kitty. All right? Some of your name could name could be Kitty. I know how to deep. I know I love how you deep throat the th deep throat this dick. Okay, so this person likes how you deep throat the dick. Okay, you don't you don't choke, you don't gag. Okay, you take it all. All right, like a pro. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. I'm doing magic because I wasn't trying to let you go. So this person is definitely doing magic because they weren't trying to let you go because they let away your pussy feel. All right. And they like watching you and keeping an eye on you. Because they like your sex game. And they can't get enough of it. So they try, you know, of course, they doing mag a magic little, you know what I'm saying, honey jars and shit. Nothing, nothing bad, you know what I'm saying, nothing too dark. You know, it's just a little something, a little light. You're the only one who can make me come, you know. So this is why this person doing magic, because you're the only one that can make this person's come. You and your, your tight ass pussy, okay? Your pussy that feels good. That's why they feel that you guys were meant to be. You were made for them. All right. They do a magic because they feel that you y'all love was meant to be. Some of y'all on that airplane. Some of y'all on that airplane and y'all not looking back. For some of you, not all of you. We got the Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Star card, Aquarius. So, yeah, you got your guards up, all right? You got your guards up feeling a little, like I said, some of y'all got y'all guards up a little standoffish because, you know what I'm saying, you're still feeling a little paranoid and non-trusting. You don't trust this person because of something that they did or somebody they messed with this, somebody that they messed with in their past, possibly this Aquarius right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yo, 
yes, we got the Ace of Swords. Yeah, but this person got clarity and they want to come reveal their truth to you. Okay? They also want to come tie you up. Maybe you guys, you know what I'm saying, was into S&M, into tying up each other. You know what I'm saying? This is why they can't get enough of your sex. All right? We got the world card, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. This person still want to offer you the world. They want to give you the world, all right? They can feel that you, um, you feel that they're a lesson learned and it's over for me, though. It's been finished. And this person cries out for you. We got the nine of pentacles. Yeah. You look you out there living single, looking good, smelling good, feeling confident, feeling confident. All right. And they see you out there looking good, smelling good, okay? Being confident about yourself. Mm hmm Because you had to step back to get yourself together on the emotional, physical, and spiritual level. Because we got the seven of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person trying to get away with lying and cheating and just being deceptive. Okay, this is why you sing when you out there looking good on your own. All right, let's get you an advice card. I'm even here. We got a deep breath. It's a pretty card. Oh, it matched my nails too. It's going my nails nice. Look at that. Isn't that nice? All right, let me let me read it for you. We got um, key concepts, a genuine expect of danger, projection of a threat with su with a, without substance, fight or flight mode, inability to focus, trusting in the universe as a way to release fear. Fear is asking, somebody else got this card. Fear is asking for your attention and healing right now. You are open, operating from the position of fear. If you also see red flags, you might be headed towards genuine danger. Perhaps repeating a lesson you don't need to learn again. You can honor this kind of fear by saying thank you and protect yourself by choosing another path. In this moment, you have all you have you have all it takes to make this shift. If the other hand, the fear surrounds the idea of taking a risk, be mindful. Radical trust and accepting the discomfort anew is called as you move out of your comfort zone. Ask for courage and take a leap into the unknown, and all that will and all that will be well, and and know that all will be well. But know that that all will be well doesn't mean all you have to come to expect. Stories from the past may be molding your expectations right now and causing fear based on anticipated hurt. 
Don't isolate yourself from far from the false idea that life is too painful and it engaging with it should be avoided. How about loving the side of you that is afraid acting out and causing all the unnecessary commotion? You will never be happy if this small part of you controls your life as it will follow if as if as if will life as it will if you allow it. However, remember to be gentle with yourself and others. Once you let let go and relax into your life, everything looks brighter and friendlier. Today, choose the love of love and fear. You'll be amazed when you do. Okay, so I think Aries got this. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna leave it here. And if this resonates with you guys, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, give me a give me a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck as long as you take heed to the message. Alright, me love. So thanks for watching. Until next time. Same bad time, same bad channel. Alright, this is